How's it going everyone? It's Max Fisher here and it's your Weekend Warrior Series. As you guys can see, I'm a little bit dirty and I just got doing some things I don't want to do. That's the way it goes guys. Sometimes you just got to put in that effort so you can get the funding for your project, maybe uh, get things, things up and going that uh, aren't necessarily in your skill set or uh, within your passion group. But that's what it's about guys and this weekend we got that one little extra day and you know for a lot of us we're going to spend a little bit of that day or maybe even the majority of that day you know cooking out and hanging out with friends and uh, you know having a good time and relaxing a little and uh, taking a little stress off maybe uh, maybe overindulging a little and that's common but we have to remember that there's an opportunity every single day to take advantage of and if you're going to be doing certain things later on in that day that aren't productive, aren't necessarily pushing you towards your goals, you need to start trying to make up for that on the front end or the back end of it. So if you know you're going out, you're going to go party, you're going to go hit it hard, you're going to be waking up tomorrow feeling like crap or maybe on Tuesday feeling like crap depending on whenever you're having your little get togethers this weekend. Um, you need to be putting in the work beforehand, you need to be putting in, maybe staying up later and putting in the work. Uh, this isn't this isn't a game guys that's what I'm trying to get across you have an opportunity every day and tomorrow you don't know if you're gonna have the same opportunity tomorrow you don't know what's gonna pop up a million things could happen you know and if you, you're not trying to take advantage of every second that you have you might miss out on your uh, the time that you need to take the rounds and make it so you can fly you know um, if you wake up late like I did this morning it's a little frustrating for me. Uh, I don't know if it is for you, but it should be because you missed out on an opportunity. You had something that you could seize, some work that you could have put forth, an effort that you could have made, and it's gone. You're never going to get it back. You, you, some people think I'm, I take this shit too seriously. I take my days too seriously. I take my hours too seriously. Don't you realize you're going to die? Like. You have so much that you can do in this world. There's so much that you can give, so much that you can put forth towards uh, the world and humanity and your family and your friends and uh, the group of people that you hang out with that you need to be taking advantage of every single day. And you should be upset if you didn't get around to it, uh, if you didn't wake up early, if you didn't take advantage of an opportunity, if you didn't uh, work as hard as you possibly could. Last night I fell asleep at my computer. I forgot to set the alarm before I went to bed. Right now I'm asking myself, what, why'd you do that? What made you do that? Subconsciously there's a reason why that happened. There's a certain amount of thought and energy that went into that that made me do that. It, I don't know, it's your, your inner self, your, the law of attraction and all that has an indifference, but it'll produce exactly what you ask for. Maybe, maybe I have some, some kind of subconscious thought about the opportunity that I'm pursuing and that I don't yet deserve it and so therefore it made me manifest and missing out on this morning and getting some work done so maybe I fall a little further behind or maybe that's the thing maybe I think that I'm behind on work and I always feel like I'm behind on work so I keep manifesting that into my uh, reality you gotta try and figure out you gotta you gotta look at it from a deeper standpoint there's things that happen that we all consider coincidence but coincidence that as far as I'm concerned there's no such thing as coincidence so it's just the fact that it's not in within your control. If you have control of your mind, if you have control of your body, and you have control of your energy, uh, and if you put all your focus and intent towards what you're doing, I don't feel like there's anything outwardly or in the, inwardly that could uh, that could change exactly what you want to do. You could plan your day to a T, and it would happen automatically. Now I feel as though that you know maybe my subconscious mind gets in the way and my intellect gets in the way. I feel like my body has. Um, been developed to a certain point where uh, it's you know 75 to you know 90 percent of it is within my control and my life energies I'm still working on you know I've got I would say it's very minimal but th that's the whole idea we have to try and cultivate all of this so that way we can optimize and put forth a an, just just what we want just the things that we want to do just the person that we want to become just the opportunities that we want to seize and if your subconscious mind is getting in the way and making you go to bed without with forgetting to set your alarm I mean how easy would have that been for me to remember to set my alarm if I had taken five minutes and maybe 
you know, thought about what I had to do before I, you know, laid down in bed. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, the subconscious causes a lot more problems than you think it does, and you don't even realize it, and you just consider it as coincidence. That's not always necessarily the case. You really have to start taking full responsibility for everything, every action, every re reaction, every circumstance that you've put forth into this reality and manifested on your own. And uh, figure it out. Look at it. Don't don't just take it as a grain of salt. You know, dive into it. Study yourself. You're the most important person you should be studying, because in the development of yourself, you're gonna find talents and abilities that you didn't even know you had, um, insights that you didn't even realize that were inside of you, uh, subconscious thoughts or conscious thoughts that you didn't even realize that ran through your bread head daily so study yourself guys that's the most important thing and obviously you know study the successful people and try and um, you know alter yourself into that person so that way you can uh, you know reach your ultimate happiness reach your ultimate purpose reach your ultimate in whatever nature that you're pursuing so we can warrior guys we got an extra day uh, go out have some fun take some time with some family and friends have some jokes, have some laughs. It's not always about work, guys, but do remember when you come home, when you're done, before you go, there's a lot of things that you could be doing. Don't just sit around all day and think, well, I got this. I'll just wait around until this happens and then, you know, I'll have something to do. It's That's on the cusp of boredom. And, bore, and Oh, man, I could go on for hours on that. If, you, if you're bored, you're doing something fucking wrong. I'll tell you that for free. If you're bored, you don't have enough purpose in your life. You don't have enough drive. You don't have enough uh, things going on because your schedule should be so full that you're worried that you can't get it all done. You you don't even think it's possible. And but with that in that mindset, thinking that it's not possible, you're trying to prove to yourself that it is possible, that you can do it. And uh, you know. I don't want you guys to to think that you know you should aim for the stars um, if you can only jump as high as the moon. I hope that makes sense. So what I'm trying to say is, don't if it's with it without your grasp. If you can't, if you don't have a hundred thousand dollars in backing and you've only got ten grand, I'm not asking you to go and um, and you know. Do a hundred thousand start a hundred thousand dollar startup business. Take what you got and jump that high. Go out all out in what you got there. But don't ever don't ever overstretch yourself um, to the point where you just you can't handle it all. There, there's there's like an eighty twenty rule there. Uh, you know, take the things in that are going to be most beneficial. Find out what the outcome is with your time. Like right now. Did I want to go to work? No, fuck no. I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to do any of the shit that I did today uh, so far as it, uh, as far as that goes. But there's going to be a point where I have to let that go. There's going to be a point where I can't do that anymore. I can't go and work for $20 an hour anymore. I can't be on somebody else's salary. I can't have a job where other people tell me what to do with my time. There's going to be a point where I have to let that go. But as of right now, it makes sense. It's purposeful. It, it's a transition phase. So th keep that in mind. Um, you know, Jump as high as you can, but don't overstretch yourself. It's your weekend warrior, guys. This is Max Fisher from A Better Universe. I really hope you guys are going and killing it. I hope you have a good Memorial Day weekend. Thank you, say thank you to your veterans. Say uh, uh, thank you to those that have uh, served for your country, whether it's you know here in America, over in the UK, Australia. I mean, those guys put forth uh, a lot of effort and sacrifice to um, make sure that the battle doesn't come to the home front. So. All that said, guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. Tomorrow, Memorial Day. Getting that mindfulness on. Yeah.